call to order the uh, meeting of the Arlington Redevelopment Board for July 7th, 2014. Um, our first order of business on our agenda tonight is an environmental design review hearing for 30-50 Mill Street. The Stewart Medical Group um, signs for that property. Right now, I don't think there's anyone here from the applicant, so I'm going to um, just set that aside uh, for right now and move on to a couple of other uh, uh, pieces of business that we have as a board. Uh, and uh, hopefully um, around 7.15, uh, with any luck, maybe we'll have the right people here and we can start that hearing. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll take the lease extensions uh, for the Department of Mental Health and the Department of Developmental Services. I think I'll take that. Uh, we're going to go a little bit out of order here. That was uh, originally scheduled in the agenda for 8 p.m., uh, but we're going to take that now. Um, so... Carol, do you want to report on this a little bit uh, for us? Yes. The Department of Developmental Services and the Massachusetts Department of Mental Health are um, tenants in the Central School. They had a three-year lease with a clause to allow for extensions. They've just completed the first um, two-year extension that the board um, executed uh, at ending, it started in 2012. And it just ended June 30th. We received these before they ended, but the board didn't have a meeting scheduled in the interval in which we, in the time we received them today. So you're considering them now. This uh, proposes to keep the rent level. Uh, the rent is slightly below what we believe to be market rent for that building. I think, though, that it's reasonable to renew the lease because it's still for a short-term extension and they are a stable good dependable tenant and i don't think it's worth trying to increase you know to, trying to argue with the state at this point to try to get additional rent uh, because it would cost us it could potentially cost us more than it would be worth i do expect that at the end of this term i would expect that the state would issue an rf possibly. You recall that they mm -hmm. did issue an RFP <coughs> and then withdrew it in uh, roughly 2010. Mm -hmm. I think the tenants are happy. We made an improvement to part of their leased facilities um, this past fiscal year that I think they were very pleased with. So I think it's worth um, pursuing and, and executing the extension. Um, a term of two years. Two years. Yeah, um, it, Carol, is this a prescribed form that the Commonwealth uses for uh, extensions, or is it our form, or is it? A this is the state's form. It's only slightly different than what you executed in 2012. Um, I was wondering if um, the the paragraphs that uh, talk about the landlord warranting and representing that we have legal capacity to enter into the agreement and that the person executing is duly authorized to do so. If that could work both ways, if we could have that modified to say that the landlord and tenant warrant and represent that they respectively have legal capacity to enter into the agreement and to execute the agreement. So that would be in four and six. Um, we just add and tenant after landlord. Take all the pluralized verbs and make them singular and then where landlord appears, you know, say and tenant respectively. I can give you, you know, what that would actually read. Mm -hmm. um, and if uh, the tenant's open to, you know, that slight modification, I uh, would have no problem with the, with the extension. So on item four and six of both, both lease extensions, yes. change in any instance of landlord uh, to landlord and top tenant warrant right. and represent.
I don't see why not. I mean, we could find out that yeah. they wouldn't, but I can't imagine why they wouldn't. Right. Yeah, I know I would tend to agree. I think it's a common sense type of, of change. And, you know, only if they're just sort of of the mindset that we're not going to entertain Yeah, this is our form. Yeah. So I think given our, our I guess the question, Bruce, is given our meeting schedule, um, as it is um, for the upcoming weeks, I guess actually it looks like we will have one in two weeks. Um, but um, my only concern would be is if we got a negative result on that mm -hmm. and we had only authorized a signature if those changes were made. Mm -hmm. So I wonder whether we can't leave it a little bit more open. We could. You know, I mean, to the extent that they're not amenable to that change. Yeah, I mean. Still it, authorized. You know, I mean, I suppose we could probably take it at face value that the person signs this. Yeah. You know. yeah. Um, also, I, on the uh, certificate of tax and employment security compliance, and I gather, Mike, you're as chairman, you're going to wind up signing this thing. Mm -hmm. You may want some certification to you from the could be the town's controller to indicate that we're up to date and paying up all, all of our employee taxes and stuff like that, just for your own yeah. protection. Okay, I well, appreciate that. You're, you're, you're the person sticking your neck on the side of this thing. Okay. Okay. To seek some type of confirmation from the treasurer, Bruce? If it's the treasurer would be the right person. I, I didn't know if it was the treasurer or if somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I have two copies. Two different leases. Yeah. Um, maybe one was in by mistake. I have one for the lease dated June 12th. So I was looking on yours. Yours yeah. says, just a minute, June 16th, June 12th. Well, yeah. Oh, and you have a June 23rd. Why do oh, you have because a Because one is uh, one for is. Department of Developmental Services <coughs> and one is for the DNA. Department of Mental Health. Okay, so the the timing is different on the two different ones. Mm -hmm. All right, I see that. Now. Okay, that was my only question. I thought they were together and that I had an old copy of one of them as well. Now I see it. Do you think I have to sign this? Why can't we have the controller actually sign it? Name of landlord. It says name, title of landlord. I guess the landlord is Tom Garland. Right. Right. Um, okay. The I, landlord I, I, is the, the board, though. The owner is the board. We're representing the town of Arlington, but acting through the Arlington Redevelopment Board, right? So I think it's still the town that needs to make the, make the certified district, yes. Well, let, I'll talk to Douglas about it. I'll talk to Doug about it. But I think you're right, Bruce. Either I need a certificate that I can rely on, rely on mm -hmm. for this, and I need someone to fill this out appropriately yeah. anyway, because I certainly don't have a lot of this information. You don't have personal knowledge. I, exactly. Uh, or I, I wonder whether we can't have someone from the town sign their certificate of tax and employment security compliance, and then I can sign up the uh, EMM. Mm -hmm. so, so maybe we just need to talk to Doug about that, town council about that. Okay. And I, I'm happy to be on the phone with you on that one. It, it, it won't be a long call, it's just like 15 minutes or so. <coughs> What's Doug's last name? Fine. E I M. What a strange evening. This is rainbow weather. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, Christine, anything else? On this? No, that was my only question. I had. Andy, anything? Else? I'm good with that. Carol, just I just want to make sure uh, on um, 
I understand what you were saying about it being a bit below market, although it's a good rent, I would say, for that particular building. Um, there's no requirements on us to make any additional changes or improvements uh, mm -hmm. to the lease space at this point. No, so so that's that's a good thing. So I put that in the bucket of, you know, as far as the rent being a little bit lower, I would put it in a, <clears throat> as not having to spend any or outlay any cash. The improvements that were done were what you had listed in past meetings, right? And that were approved that by town meeting. Those capital improvements? Was there Is there bathrooms and such? Either they were approved by the capital town yeah. meeting or they didn't reach the, the, the dollar threshold, threshold for yeah. being a capital expenditure. Okay. Okay. Um, so. I guess uh, it would be good if, if there's no other uh, questions or comments or anything else. Um, if we could move to approve the extension of the leases um, based on the amendments we have in front of us. Um, and I guess the question is, is do we say, I guess we say with the changes, um, Set forth by. Well, I think in the interest of expediency, I, I think that if we can just uh, move to approve the and hopefully we can get the. But we can still request. I won't make that part of the motion. Okay. But just if we can request. Oh, absolutely. Uh, that the uh, those little changes be, be made in paragraphs four and six of the two. I think that sounds like a great idea. I'm going to do it that way, and we'll definitely do that because we're going to have to do the other portion anyway. So. Mm -hmm. so Carol thing is just moved to approve and authorize me to sign. I think is what I heard as the motion. Right, yeah, that's my motion. Yep. Uh, yes. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. That's good. Okay. We'll be okay, Mr. President, sir. Still don't see any sign at this point. Oh. Um, okay. well, there's Andrew. All right. Okay. Got people coming but not the one out of kind of need. Exactly. Okay. Um, I'm gonna thank you. Okay, so that takes us past the lease extensions. Um, it's now twenty past seven. I still don't see the uh, steward people here. So let's move to the approval of the minutes. So we're not quite at seven thirty for our next uh, EDR hearing. So we've got in front of us um, minutes from last meeting. So it's the minutes for um, June 16th. Um, and um, okay, sure, I've got three. Um, in the first paragraph, third line, where we talked about the certificate of compliance item, I just thought we might want to reference that to the Arlington 360 project. So otherwise, certificate of compliance by itself is, yeah. is, is a little big. So uh, I said, took the certificate of compliance item pertaining to the Arlington 360 project and then continued on from there. Then in the third paragraph from the bottom, the one that says, Mr. Gluck stated that the signs have a cleaner look. Um, I would change the period at the end of the second sentence to a comma and add the following. That the lettered portion of the proposed sign is smaller than that of the current sign and that the remainder of the sign is simply the Valvoline brand's colors. So the point of that change is that we're, he, he's explaining that above the tolls size of the sign may be larger, the uh, signage part of it, the, 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 the logo and name, is actually smaller. And then it's really just the color scheme that's being uh, uh, extended along the, the facade of the building. And then on the last paragraph, um, where, Carol, you pointed out some of the violations under the existing um, special permit. I think we may need a transition paragraph because right after your comments, um, it says that we move, move to approve the signage. 
So it, it, it just seems like maybe we, we sort of took into consideration that, and, and I don't know if the applicant indicated that they were going to, you know, try to like put the plants back and has the landscaping plan called for, but I seem to recall that they had, there was some acknowledgement that they might have a little bit of work to do just to bring themselves into compliance and we said, okay, uh, but without that transition program, it just seems a little abrupt to say, mm -hmm. okay, we're, we're granting your special permit. So I'll leave that to okay. your authorship. Okay. So for the sign description, you said that the lettered portion, portion of a proposed sign is smaller than that of the current sign and that the remainder of the sign is simply the Valvoline brand's colors or color scheme. So the logo is larger. The logo yeah, we need, to, we need to change that whole sentence. The logo up there. is larger, but the overall sign is the same size as the okay. test. Right. And that's actually the, the sentence before that, I think, is the one that needs to be changed. It says, Ms. Kowalski pointed out the proposed sign with the logo and name is five times larger than the existing sign, totally 154 inches. Actually, I think what you pointed out is that the logo itself was larger by five times, but not the whole sign. The sign was actually a little bit smaller. That's Remember that, Carol? It, it's no, just been, the, it's a 20 the foot area long. of the logo and the, and the, the, the words. It's the same size as it was before. Yeah. It, 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 it was long, no, it's a long it was, 20 foot wide by 5 foot high. Yeah. Okay. See, okay, didn't change. But the actual logo within it got bigger. Does anyone have it? Yep, I got it right here. Yeah. Uh, and do you have the um, existing? Yep, I do. The, big up both the dimensions are on it. It didn't actually change the overall. Uh, kind of If you look at the, um, you know, compare the name and logo on each piece of the proposed. Yeah, see, so here's the existing, and here is the So those are the two. And I think what you had pointed out was the logo itself is five times bigger than what the logo was. But if you look, the sign is the same. And they pointed that out. The overall, if you squint test, the red zone is the same size. These are both existing, I thought. No. No. No, the one on the left oh, is the existing. Oh, it says existing on it. Okay. Oh, sorry, the one on the right. Is there a new valve on yeah, the one on the right is the new, the one on the left is the old. And actually, the instant oil change was huge on There the was one with dimensions right on it. But see that Either band? of these has dimensions. See this overall band of red? That they said was the same size. We can that. that but what size. I was giving you was a measurement of, of the actual. The words yeah. and the logo. Yeah. And the words and the logo of the new one. We're the logo is bigger and the words are small. But that's why I, what you gave well, us was that the logo. See how the logo is tiny on the see the see the on the left. That's, that's what you did. Logo. That's that's the point you were making there. Yeah, I think so. That's yeah. right. I, I actually remember the point. But you said the logo. Was you big. said the logo was five times bigger. Okay, so let's just change that. But overall signage is the same size. Actually, the writing is small. Point out the proposed logo is five times larger. No, is the existing logo? I don't know. The proposed. To be logo honest with you, I think if you make just strike it, just strike it strike because I think Bruce's new sentence gets us to where we need to okay. be. Okay. So that the lettered portion of the proposed sign is smaller than the current sign, and the remainder of the sign is sign band. Yeah. Yes. I 
think you can just lose that other sentence. Okay. Hello, come on in. Okay. Okay, so, uh, I'm sorry, I kind of hijacked you there. No, no, no. I just, no, I, I just wanted to. That was sort of, good. That's good. Take that right. I'm glad you got that. Um, no. Okay. Andrew? No changes. Okay. Andy? Good. Okay, with that change, I'm okay with these two. So, um, if uh, I can get a motion to approve. I move to approve as amended. Seconded. Okay, second by Andy. All in favor? Aye. 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 And Christine Epstein. Okay. Um, I'm just going to check in on one thing. You're here for the uh, for the steward signs. I am. I saw okay. the, was wandering around your building. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it's hard to find sometimes. Uh, we do have another hearing scheduled for 7:30, okay. so I'm going to hear that first, and then okay. I'll come back to it. Okay. Thank Hopefully, it won't be too long. So, um, although that's running a little bit um, late, so I think it is 7:30. Right. So um, it's right on time. I'd like to open up our. Um, uh, reopen uh, the hearing for. Sorry, I've lost my. Uh, right, here we go. I'm going to reopen the hearing for the environmental side of you, uh, the continued hearing for 1398 Mass Ave Verizon. And I see uh, yes, Attorney. Good evening. Uh, right back here. Yeah, Dan Klasnik for the applicant. Hey, Attorney Klasnik, please come on forward. If you yeah, as I had spoken, I don't know if uh, Carol had spoken with you, and I had spoken with Carol earlier today about. Really, the sole purpose of coming here this evening was to Sure. Could you just introduce yourself? Uh, yes. Within the and for the, for the record? Yeah, or just yeah. for the record, yeah. Uh, I'm Dan Klasnick. I'm the attorney for the applicant for Amazon Wireless. Okay. As I was saying, the, really the sole purpose for me coming here this evening is really just to request this forward for a further continuance until the next hearing on July 21st. Okay. Without offering, you know, testimony or opening the hearing in any way, um, we have been making progress, I think, to address uh, some of the board's concerns that were more, I think, fundamentally related to the property itself as opposed to Verizon Wireless's proposal. Um, it took a little longer than we had anticipated as far as getting folks' attention, but now I think, I think we do have uh, the attention of some folks and there's some meeting schedules between the property owner and members of the uh, staff of the town that I think would uh, hopefully move forward towards and hopefully by the 21st we would be in a better position to understand exactly uh, you know, where we're at as far as addressing those concerns. Okay, thank you. Uh, appreciate that. We'll take that under advisement. Um, we have to grab it if it is. Yes, we do, okay. but I, I want to take public comment. Oh, I'm sorry, about here. I, okay. we've, got, we've got people here, <laughs> yeah, so I, I figure right. since they're here. Yeah. Um, so this is, I have reopened the public hearing, so um, I will take uh, public comment. Um, if uh, if there's any anyone who wants to comment, otherwise the uh, the suggestion or the request is that we continue uh, to the 21st. So, does anyone want to make a comment uh, tonight? I guess as a point of order, is it uh, acceptable for me to ask Mr. Klesnick a question directly, or is that it's it's not through, really the through yeah, me? I can, through I can I, try. I, I, um, Could I you please introduce yourself? Uh, pardon me. I'm yeah, um, Josh Frank. I uh, am the owner of uh, 1012 Quincy Street, uh, okay. so I'm one of the neighbors abutting the uh, property in question. So I didn't know um, with the request for the continuance is the uh, idea that he has been, uh, that the uh, property owner uh, on Mass Ave has been already making uh, changes, or are we still waiting to well, understand what all the changes are? Yes, sure, and I can give you my side of it. And, certainly. And uh, certainly uh, Attorney Klasnick can uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I think the progress that's being made is with the town to understand what the uh, town's issues are. Okay. Um, and I might be wrong with that. Um, I guess you don't have to comment, but that's that's my understanding, is, is that's part of the progress has been to kind of start to understand uh, some of the town's issues with the property. Okay. So. I didn't, uh, you know, I don't know what's within the purview of this board. It would be very nice if uh, we could have some or all of you come take a look at the neighborhood. Uh, it's a nice neighborhood overall, and it, and it is a good thing. Um, some of the things that extend from the building are, are directly to it, our storage that's being used along along our property mm -hmm. lines, uh, tires being uh, put right along the, right, uh, right by our fence line, which there's a concern for fire hazard, things yeah. like that. Things that certainly could be overcome for sure. 
the trickier issue does come down to parking. Mm -hmm. uh, no one is doing anything wrong, uh, per se. There's just a lot more parking than I think was initially thought that it was going to be scheduled for that street. And what makes that a little tricky is the two things. One, it, um, there's enough parking on both sides. It often comes down to one lane. So when it comes to emergency vehicles and things like that, yeah. it can be a little tricky. The other is that there's a lot more traffic, uh, and that is that street is one of the main thoroughfares used for children going to Audison Middle School. So it is at least worth taking a look at. I don't know how much, you know, some of it does directly fall under the purview of this issue, and uh, because it is a lot of um, his, uh, the employees of Greater Boston Motorsports parking there, and I really do want to say I don't, th you know, they're doing nothing wrong. They're showing up to work, and they're, they're nice people. Uh, but I don't, you know, it, it is clearly a little more traffic than the street was initially uh, intended uh, to handle. So if, if it can be included in in these discussions, it would be certainly much uh, uh, much appreciated. Um, so those were the those are the main things from my point of view. Um, and I, my neighbors here at night too as well. So I'll see the floor. Friendly Hibbert, 15, 17 Dean Street, where likewise butters, and I agree with Josh with everything said, the tires and the, the congestion and all. Great. Great. Well, thank you both for coming. Appreciate thank you. it. Um, okay, so uh, any comment or, or questions? Uh, no. Kristen? Just that I do go past that site quite often. Sure. So I am familiar with the parking and everything that's happening there. The tires, though, are new. If they're around back, you wouldn't be able to see them from the street, you know. Yeah, my back porch and it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the area would be where the uh, inventory is stored around back, and that's the area that directly abuts our properties. Uh, so, you know, once again, there is some give and take here. It's, it's certainly not a, you know, uh, it's certainly not a, a move out or get out situation, but, you know, there's some concerns about how things are being stored, and I think it could be certainly kept neater. Uh, in that way, and you know, as neighbors, we try, we try and do that. Sure, so. there's fuel in either the motorcycles or the snowblowers. Yeah, and you've got the snow, and you've got the tires right, right there too. Yeah, and some batteries, also some drums of indeterminate. Uh, you know, I'm not yeah. sure if it's motor oil or what have you. And you know, like I said, these things, you know, these things accrue. Yeah. And it's a natural part of the business. I do understand that. And honestly, you know, they. Uh, I got I, I do want to say in, in uh, for Greater Boston Motorsport, they've um, brought their snowblowers around sometimes during some of the nastier storms, and so this is not a completely, uh, you know, uh, yeah. I don't think it's, yeah. Yeah, the regular people are Yeah, are good. exactly. Is, is that in the area, do we know, um, where they're supposed to have a buffer yard also? Well, where the storage is happening? Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I, think, I think that's part of what we're looking into right now. We yeah. to try to get from the town exactly what the issues are. So. And the music studio. <laughs> yeah. At night. That's probably the biggest issue, I'd say. Uh, you know, that's the one. It's not a safe matter of safety. It's just a, It's just not pleasant to live next to sometimes. Uh, so, you know, and that one, I'm not sure. You know, I don't. I won't tell. I won't tell the board what exactly is on for what. But that one, I was surprised. It, it, it's uh, incongruous with the rest of the businesses there, mm. uh, for sure. You know, I certainly understand motorcycle noise from a motorcycle shop. I've never called to complain about that. But the the music studio is, is a bit of a non sequitur. It operates at odd hours and then it usually starts up at night. Uh, would of course it's <laughs> when you would of course least want it. Um, so that's the, uh, the biggest non sequitur within the, uh, the purview of that building. Um, so I'm, I'm good. Um, so there's been a, uh, I guess I'll entertain a motion for the continuation to July 21st. Or next um, do we have a, a time? Yeah, um, I think we don't have anything else that night, so no, I'd don't. like to do it for 7 o'clock. So moved. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. Seven. Thank you. Are we allowed to come if Oh, you're always. always. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Always. Public hearing. Thank you. Thank you. And we haven't closed public comment yet. No. Okay. Excuse me, Brenda. Would you mind repeating your last name? Okay, Bird. H I D E A N D. And what number? 1517. 1517. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. Stay dry. Okay, starting a little bit late. Uh, Steward representative was uh, wandering the halls. Nope, no problem at all. Why don't you come on in? I'm going to open the hearing. I just have to open it officially uh, for the environmental design review of 30 to 50 Mill Street Stewart Medical Group signage. So 
Uh, why don't you come on forward and okay. introduce yourself, if you could, please. Uh, my name is Lisa Mann. I work for Sign Design in Brockton, Mass. And I am the uh, account rep for Steward Healthcare. I have been for about seven years. Mm -hmm. um, what we're proposing, and again, Steward Medical Group has a, um, a location at 50 Mill Street in Arlington, um, where they provide primary care as well as um, women's health. The site opened a few months ago. Um, we got a little held up with the landlord. Oh, thank you. If you want. <laughs> Um, we had a little help with the landlord, but finally are here before you to see uh, what we can work out for signage for this location so that they can let the community know that they're there. That's their biggest concern is that they bring these doctors in, they try to bring great health care to the community, and they're going to get people in the door. Um, what they initially proposed was two permanent signs, along with the um, the bold number at the top of the building because people were having trouble finding it, um, as well as what they consider standard for their offices is some treatment of the windows. We initially proposed more coverage. A couple of these are actually exam rooms, um, but then we were told that we only could be a certain percentage of the windows for coverage, so we backed it off and told them they had to just shut their blinds. <laughs> um, so what we showed here on each top of each sheet is an overview of all the signage and then each sign type called out. When we get to the windows, we show the whole window size so you can see that we're using a percentage. Not because we're going to treat the whole window. Um, it's just that top panel that we're going to make. The product, um, Carol was nice enough to ask us to bring panels. It's called one-way window foam. And it lets light in, but when you apply it to the exterior of the window, you actually can't see it once it's on the, you can't see it from the inside. Mm -hmm. So it just blocks, it gives enough, it lets some light in, um, and I got a larger sample to show the print quality and just the product. And we use these at quite a few of the Stewart Hospital locations as well as the medical group offices. They take a little bit of the glare out, so it kind of takes a little bit of the sun glare away. Um, but from the inside, you actually, if you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't know it was there. And from the outside? Is this, the outside, is you this, can see the that. Product, not, yeah. not that. They both are. This is that a just has a back and yeah. that just has, you, yeah. you take, you take the back and go yeah. off. Yeah. So it's it's see-through. Yeah. Or you can see light yeah. through. But, uh, yeah. sure. So if I stuck this to the outside of your window and you looked at it from the inside, you'd barely know it was there. Yeah. It's neat stuff. It's like screening mesh. I do. Like it disappears. But so from the outside, it looks like a regular. A regular vinyl, yep. A regular vinyl. Yep. And you're just proposing that for this top section. Those toppers, correct. Not for the whole window. Correct. Okay. And like, like I said, we tried to show the whole window size so you could see that we were using the correct proportion. And that's the product itself. Pretty neat. Yeah. yeah. It's okay when the sun hits it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I also brought a couple of photos of existing where we have used it for them. It's meant to be on exterior doors, but they have used it in some cases in interior or in lobbies. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Like that's a, actually a waiting room, so it's nice that. You know, you don't just drive by and see people sitting, but they can see out. So it's safety mm -hmm. conscious as well. I did actually have a, um, someone at Morton Hospital call and say they forgot to put them up. I was like, go outside. They're there. Yeah, I promise. Like so. okay. And uh, the, the permanent sign? Correct. We, um, what they'd like to have is a lit sign because they do operate um, in some evening hours, I'm sure, and when I get stuck at four, again. <laughs> um, so what we have proposed is an internally lit box. <laughs> Simple. Um, this is standard steward branding, nothing um, unusual. You can see it in all the other offices when allowed. 
And again, their biggest concern here is visibility. The parking's all on the side. Um, the sheet two of, sh of the six sheets is the view from the side parking lot facing the true value, which I think is where most of their parking is anyway. And then the back of it is more of a walkthrough area, which is the last, the last sheet. Which sheet number? Uh, it would be sheet six. Okay. That's that. That's almost like a, um, like a pedestrian walkway behind. Yeah, that's where the path is. Mm -hmm. The bike path. The bike path. Okay. And this would be, uh, uh, you, you wouldn't be able to see through it at all. Right? You can't. You can't. Well, not really. Not in the top. You can see through the, the bottom. Right yeah, okay. and like I said, we just showed the whole window to yeah. show that the proportion was correct yeah. and what the, the town requirements were, but this is just clear open window. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, that's the same product on the top? Correct. Okay. Correct. We try to stick with the one-way film okay. um, for safety reasons, and it wears very well. It's, an, it's a nice product, and for consistency as well. to the board in my report was to suggest to the board that they consider requiring that the sign be turned off after business hours. So maybe you want to explain what steward does typically um, with the light box signs. Um, typically they're on a timer or a photo cell, so they go off at, you know, either when the town requires or at least after practice hours. I'm not entirely certain of what the practice are, hours are here because it was a newer practice, but we can either go with whatever their closing time is or half an hour after their closing time, um, mm -hmm. whatever the board sees fit, I'm sure they'd be happy to comply. Okay. And it's, it's very standard dress for the time around these things, so that nobody has to worry about the whole switch. Right. And I also just uh, uh, advise the board to consider making a condition that the remaining um, window Parts of the window remain clear. Mm -hmm. Which it sounds like you're proposing yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. It's not specifically called out on the plan, so that's why I think it would right. be mm -hmm. more clear to make it a condition. Because it reinforces what we're doing and proposed. It just helps to make it clear so that if a year from now no one could remember, it was mm -hmm. represented in the file. I always try to make sure that we have that mm -hmm. self explanatory. So, I'm just from my own curiosity, sure. the fabrication, what's EC-9 That's and actually the, the molding, it's the, act, it's the, the uh, extrusion number that we use. Oh, it's okay. Like our, our catalog stock. So it's like the, the metal aluminum. Yeah, correct. And LF molding, that's just the, it's the it, term same. for that. Yep. And how about DHO? Lamps? DHO is the, um, the type of lamp. The type of fluorescent we use, it's a daylight lamp. It's not like a bright, okay. bright white. It's like a kinder. They don't even really make the, the obnoxiously bright white ones anymore. So you're not using LED? You're not proposing LED here. Oh, okay. Depends on budget. They're more expensive initially, so mm -hmm. we try to, I mean, we can recommend that steward, you know, if the board wants to recommend LEDs, we do like to use them. Um, they're brighter. Um, they do have a warmer, the, so the DHO light will be a little bit of a warmer light, not as bright. LEDs are, you know, they're meant to last or want to be super bright. You can get them in different daylight, you know, softer, but um, we don't typically stock those. They're a special order. How about the energy comparison? Um, they're going to do better with the LEDs. A lot better. Typically. The draw is really low. Yeah. Um, they last a long time. Yeah, fluorescents usually don't. Um, we try to use bulbs that last for quite a while, but usually we recommend them servicing them from like a year and a half mm. from when we install them and then check them every year or two years. 
<laughs> 15, 20, right. <laughs> depending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you may want to ask them to consider LED. Sure. Um, yeah, in this day of energy saving, and mm -hmm. I would like to include that in. Uh, my only other question, in our sign ordinance, do we say that the logo has to be um, less than 10% of the sign? I was trying to look there that up. There is a limit on the size of the logo. I mean, I um, think it's very tasteful looking, but, and I like it, but... I, I, I'm sorry that I don't have the bylaw. Really? Yeah. I have the bylaw here, um, and I was just starting to read it. check it, because I think it may be... Um, Except when the what zone are we in? The logo that was my is for a product or service provided. It's section um, signs or section seven. seven. No, what what um, zone are we in here? This is I think it's B two A. No. Okay, so it's not B one. You're not thinking about the signs on the fields. No. No. This is under um, prohibited signs. Signs in the RB1 OS districts containing a registered trademark or portraying a specific commodity for sale. Well, it's not a specific. I think that's more the Coca Cola sign. And then in all other districts, signs which contain it. So this isn't a registered trademark. No, I mean, it's I, just their, it's their logo. Brand. I thought, I, okay. I thought that was more in, in consideration of something you were selling inside. So in other words, a convenience store can't have a Coca-Cola sign that's... Is that the way that works? I, in all the district signs which contain a registered trademark or portray a specific commodity for sale. Commodity that would be for code, sale. Occupying more than 10% of the sign area. And because that registered trademark or commodity is a principal activity. Okay, so this is a principal activity. Yeah, because okay. otherwise a shelf sign could never work, right? Because it's not only 10%, right. it's the whole sign. Right. All right, good. Like I said, I was just starting to read. <laughs> no, I think it's more on the convenience mm -hmm. store type of thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. That, that was we it. make those too, so I can see where yeah. you're coming from. <laughs> uh, Andrew? Anything? No, I, I really don't have any objection to this. Andy? So is this your, this is your kind of standard sign size? Standard. We try to make it fit comfortably in the building without disrupting. Yeah. The facade, but well, I, I may be the only one, but mm -hmm. I, I feel like it kind of sits in a funny way. Okay. I mean, floating up here mm -hmm. in, in space. It's mm -hmm. a funny shape, you know, kind of proportion right. building. It is. And what I think what might look nice in is to just place your sign all the way across, right above that entrance. Mm -hmm. You could even um, make that a awning if you wanted to. So it's, it's, it looks more like an awning. I, I'm just, I would be concerned about visibility, keeping it lower. That, that's Having, actually the Mill Street side. Yeah, there. that's the that's side not that the entrance. faces. You both sides. Yeah. You've got the same sign on both sides. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's just my thing. thing. I think everybody else is okay with it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just think, think it, good point, though. it just feels it funny is. floating up in the nowhere land to me. I like the proportion of it, even a bigger zone mm -hmm. that's right in this location. You are raised up off the street about three feet. Right. So I don't think you have a problem seeing it. It just looks to me like it's kind of a paste on the edges. Mm -hmm. I think we were trying not to make it too big. <laughs> I think it can stand it. This building is, it's, it needs it. Okay. <laughs> it needs an awning or a big yeah. thing or something. And I apologize, I don't nice. know my, my um, like this. sign ordinances for every town as well. Like would you considering awning, like, like if they were to propose an awning, yep. and maybe, maybe I could talk them into dropping window graphics and doing an awning Yes. or something, and that would help a little bit with the glare. Do you consider, if it has no graphics on it, do you consider it part of your sign code? Because they have a standard awning. If it has no graphics on it. But would you have to decide what it is, is what you're saying? If it would make your space, it would almost look like your sketch. So you leave the sign on the top. No, I, that's the thing. Then yeah. I still think it's kind of a funny mm -hmm. floater. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to Even see. if it's over and on. I'd rather, see, the I'd rather see it floating in this small, yeah. non-floating yeah. and bigger, yeah. myself. If I was going to... Yeah, no, I'd leave it floating, or I would drive it down and make, mm -hmm. put it on make a it square box awning that could mm -hmm. be illuminated the same way. So it gives a little guts to it. They tend to do non-illuminated awnings, except for them underneath. They do fabric, really nice fabric awning. Mm -hmm. um, 
It would definitely change the look. I, I'm a huge fan of awnings. I don't mm -hmm. know if it would do that. This, this building needs some scale. It's a box. Yes. It's nothing. They could put it's the text on the awning okay. and, it, and, and it, light it, it from above, couldn't they? Do down lights on it? Real amateur design critique. I'm going to defer to you guys on this stuff. But I noticed that when you. If, when the number of the building is put more in the corner, like it is yeah. uh, facing the parking lot, mm -hmm. the sign seems to fit better in the center of the building. And I'm wondering if you did the same thing here. Yeah, you put the 50 over, you put the the 50 over mm -hmm. in the right-hand corner. Oh, is that no, or, no, it's not. I like it in the right-hand corner, but it doesn't have anything to do with the scale of the sign. Okay. 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 That's the note that there again, we're just trying to help people with their GPS. Because I did it. Mm -hmm. I grew up right by it. You know, they had nothing, at least, you know, mm -hmm. you know they found a lot yeah. of the temporary banners so people mm -hmm. can find it, but um, it was under construction, that's how I navigated my way over there. So you, you're saying they might be amenable to they doing might be an awning? Awning. It'll be a bigger with text on it. But the awnings, so awnings are made a couple of different ways. You can make them like a shed. Mm -hmm. You can make them, which gives you less, which they tend Boring. to do shed, which gives them just a balance to work off of. Um, it's or they can, no, and they can be made steep so that the logo can go on the awning. They could be made in a box, you see, too. Mm -hmm. you know, these box type. Yeah. Very sleek, just to get the snow off. Mm -hmm. you know, the on, the, yeah. on the front. On the front. Or you just put your sign right there mm -hmm. and even extend it so it's wider, the zone right. of the sign. And it, I just, it needs some. Sure. It seems to float in a big field up mm -hmm. there. Uh, like I said, I think we were trying to play with sign size and keep this, keep it a little more um, I know. delicate and budget constraints as well. I understand. So, so you, they may drop the window signs though, you're thinking? I mean, if, if we, they brought well, that down. Well, if I down. put an awning over it, you won't yeah. be able to see them. <laughs> right. So, because the awning needs to have some kind of function. And these are both non, um, this is a non entrance. It's just, actually, they both are. Yeah, so really an awning, if they sides. were going to put them there, it would just be for aesthetics and to keep the board happy. Mm -hmm. More than, you know, they're more likely to put them over entrances where they're functionable and... Where's you know, the, the entrance on the shadow side? See, yeah, it's on the shadow side to the left. Yeah. Behind this truck that's truck. there. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, so there's a... And, it, you know, the door has the main entrance. And I did have a question on that. Sure. Uh, so, so, what... So there's no proposal for the door itself? There's just, there is a, a main entrance in that handicap direction. Okay. But that's it. You just wait there. Yeah. yeah. And there's a lighting over that door. Um, they felt like, if, and actually I agree with them, there's a tree there as well. You can see it right over the truck. Um, and when that's full, you really need to see that number, which is why we put it on the corner, and then the signage to know to turn in to get that location. Yeah. Um, so, my thing is that I'd rather not <laughs> give kind of like carte blanche on making the sign bigger. Um, that's the one. I don't have concern there. How much bigger can they go by the, I, I don't by the ordinary? Yeah, maybe just drop it down to the line. Just mm -hmm. stick it right on that line. Just bring it down a couple feet. No, so it sits on the, on the, on the, on the uh, step of the Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. At least it resides on yeah. something. Yeah, then it sits on mm -hmm. something. I think she tried to center it, top to bottom. <laughs> so, that's what I would do. The building needs awnings. Mm -hmm. It needs right. stuff And honestly, if the entrances were over there, I would totally agree with you. I'd put an awning on the shack mm -hmm. side, just yeah. without the sign. Just something to give mm -hmm. this thing a little more in well, well, inviting feel. It feels very office like. It's like yeah. an office, and now you're sticking a sign mm -hmm. up there, which is kind of floating up in the middle of the sure. side. It doesn't look. I could pr I'm happy to propose it to them, even if it's for aesthetics. Yeah. Um, it would brighten up the building to add their steward blue. They have a nice yeah. matches the blue awning. Mm -hmm. um, you put the sign on the front. That's nice. Sure. And yeah, especially if they've used it on other buildings. It's more so on the larger hospitals, and it just has the white logo. Um, we've never done it for a steward medical group. So, what I'm hearing from the board, just to just to be clear, is is, is as far as the window signs are concerned, we encourage them to look at awnings as a. Well, I, I think as an, as I would a say that it's, it's approvable. Yeah. I don't. I like those window mm -hmm. fabrics. They're great. They, they, they shade the sun a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. They're nice. They actually make a little a little life in there. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Um, all, and I think the sign is, is okay if you want to go that way, but if you want to, I would urge the, the proposal to say, uh, we urge you to look at awnings and mm -hmm. we can, we can, I would have, you know, approve on that. How do we feel about um, the staff having, giving the staff the authority to approve this? Um, you know, that we're okay with it as is. We'd like to see this move down, at least to the line, sure. um, on both sides, so that's the natural question. Mm -hmm. As Andy right. suggested, at least move it down to the stucco mm -hmm. uh, line yeah. there, um, you know, one up there. We'd like LED considered. Uh, LED considered, okay. um, please. When you say the stucco line, you mean the seam? Yeah, the seam, yeah. Okay. exactly. Okay. Just the uh, one above the windows, yeah. not the one. This one. So it just seems like it's yeah. right here. Yeah, exactly. But I, I think we stuff. Is that stucco? Is that piano? We're using it's stucco uh, for lack of yes, better. Yes, not stucco. It's, it's uh, probably EFIS. Drive it. Drive it. Yeah, EFIS. Yeah. Oh, EFIS. Okay. Okay, so I would suggest, so we've got, uh, Carol, that was the LED. Um, we would very much like to recommend that they use LEDs. Um, move the signs down to the seam one. Um, and you're then, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you're sorry. recommending LED in the motion. I think we're going to leave it to staff to finally approve, but yeah, we'd like them to consider. Suggesting, yes. We, we understand that this has no teeth. I mean, the board should understand that when we only recommend that there has no teeth. Right, there's cost implications. Sure. Yes. But then I presented the corporate and, and they just decide whether or not they think that's mm -hmm. a great move. Do we also want to consider. consider the longer side? Have them consider that rather than just moving it to the same? No, no. If they don't drop it down, I wouldn't make it longer. I think it's just the smaller side because then it's floating again. You see, mm -hmm. so it's make it bigger. It's no, low. they would drop it down. Though, no, they would drop, oh. If we want to suggest them, your first suggestion. Yeah, that's an option, but but you weren't in favor um, of that necessarily. The size. Make the sign bigger. That would make it the, the width of the window instead of the width that it's showing. There. Mm -hmm. I, I'd rather not see a sign as big as the window Fine. myself, so, let, let's because I think proportionately, yeah. you can't just go that way. It has to go this mm -hmm. way too, I, and then you've got to. I agree, kind way. of agree with Mike that it, it, as an awning, it would look great that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. Not, as, not as a flat. Not, side a, side. Uh, not as an illuminated box. Okay. Yeah. Not as an illuminated box in that way. So, so we're okay with the size, it's just placement on the facade that we want to move down to. Which that. doesn't sound controversial. No, that doesn't sound That's controversial not. at all. And we, so. we recommend that they look at awnings, yep. potentially, uh, and any side, either side, okay. to um, add scale and right. uh, add scale and basically and just door. liveliness to the oh. building. <laughs> I think the brightness managers would be thrilled to hear that. I mean, it need, anything they like, felt very it needs scale, it needs sure. like a little mm -hmm. landscape. I mean, it just looks like a box out in the middle of a tundra right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the people on you would be right. sign on it oh, or just <laughs> straight on it? I think we're even okay <laughs> with them being <laughs> sign on it as long as it's not, you know, fighting with the light mm -hmm. box, you know, if it's something I think is what I was hearing. So. If you don't mind, personally, if you were going to leave the sign, I would just do a nice blue on it. Blue on it. I agree. Blue on it, yeah. So that would be right. No, I think that would be better. That's better. It's right. adding a sign to the I don't think you've got two walls. Right, right. It right. does, and it gets very structural. Right. And then Although the I think you could yeah. Yeah. you could possibly put the address on it. You could probably put it on that. Go ahead and put it on both sides if you want to. If you're facing east and south, you can get a lot of light in there. That doesn't hurt you to have it. And it'll Absolutely. just make the building look more inviting. Sure. I have one question. If we do decide, if they do decide to go for the onyx, which I think are a great idea, would it be acceptable to keep these window graphics and move them down so they sit on the mullion to keep them the same proportion? Uh, to run say. a little color. Along the bottom? Mm -hmm. uh, either, yeah, yeah, either along the, mullion, the very bottom the or just sitting yeah, on the see, mullion. You see right there. Mm -hmm. oh, on a, a, I was thinking there. it would look really nice once you add it the. If you did add a nice deep blue awning just that. to run these yeah. down here. You can make the body off right. for an awning, I think. Oh, that'd yeah. be, I, I think that would be fun. That'd be a good trade off. I think it would be very attractive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would that. So, to be clear, um, another alternative would be just to review what you said. Yeah. That the um, one way film beyond the lower if you add an um, window opening, if, if an uh, awning yes. is added, yes. right. no, okay. not the lower, lower, yeah, right. sitting on this, mullion sitting right on the here. I actually think it will get hit okay. by that. I couldn't see what you were doing, I see sure. correct. correct. Okay, so the so bottom on that portion of the middle correct. panels, 
correct, but the same size. Okay. That same mm -hmm. price. Strip for consistency. Mm -hmm. So if the awning's added, is the sign still moving down? No. no. It's staying We'd have to was. sit it. You'd have to sit it up. Appropriately yeah. above. Correct. How do you think you have? Are you comfortable? With so they could, with they could just go with what they have, move down to the joint line. Correct. Okay. That is, so that is the absolute right. approval here. And, and we can the, approve awnings wherever they want to put awnings, right? Carol. Carol's going to have that. Like if you staff staff wanted to put awnings on all the windows and yeah. all the doors? Yeah, good idea. I, that'd be great. <laughs> <It was perfect. laughs> I see these little the windows over here all yeah. by themselves, and I know the doors are over there. It is a little lonely. Does the board want to include or not include the specifying that the balance of the windows will remain free of film and that the box, pillar light boxes will be um, turned off after the close of business. Yes. Yeah, half yes. hour after close of business. Yes. 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 That would be great. Yeah. And do we want to have that, I mean, what if business goes till 10 o'clock? No, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's an office. Yeah, it's office an office. It's not an urgent mm -hmm. care. It's okay. not a, and I know that they have, um, you know, nice I think globes when you walk in, too. It's not like that's their only light source. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, well, we could say but in no event later, later, that later than 10 o'clock. Or, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, because right, then you cover both. You're worried about the residential area? Well, yeah, a little bit. I mean, I just, you know. On all sides. And Just as uh, Lisa mentioned, mm -hmm. um, we weren't quite sure what the hours would be there yet. So a half hour after business, I just wanted to sort of have right. a little my, bit of a, an outside parameter. On sure. That. My typical sites for them usually are only open until 6 o'clock. Oh, okay. But that's, again, I'm not sure about this dynamic in this neighborhood. This is an emergency care. Like, no. No urgency. They have to, to make that care. stipulation yeah, but in no event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Than Nine? Ten? That's, I would have said ten. Yeah, but that's, that's me. I mean, like, because okay. it's going to be, it's going to be a half hour after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in no event later, they, you know. So if they're still okay, going, it's, they're, it's, it's someone's working late for a while. Or yeah, like exactly. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. I mean, from a safety perspective. Okay. Sure. That'd be my recommendation. Yes. Carol, does that mean? Yes. Okay. Makes sense to the sign, uh, excuse me, the address number is black, correct? Correct. Not steward blue? Nope. Oh, yeah, we like that on the upper right. Mm -hmm. And, oh, right, and that's moving to the upper right. Of the, we already had it proposed on the street side upper right. Do you want to also move this one to upper left? So it's on the corners? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Corner, corner. Yeah. Yeah. Corner, corner. I don't know that one. I just want <laughs> on the Mill Street for sale. Okay. okay. So, Carol, you've got enough for a motion there? Um, I think so. Why don't I read it back to you? For it. Moved that. The sign be approved either as presented or with the light box signs moved down to the stucco scene or with awnings, with one or more blue awnings, no sign, and to authorize the direct, uh, excuse me, and the screens placed on the bottom of the center window panels with the condition that the light, light box signs be turned off 30 minutes after close of business, but in no event after 10 p.m., that the balance of the windows um, remain free of film and the street number move to upper left-hand corner on the Mill Street facade to be approved at the at the director's discretion. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. and, I, and I think the only thing that I heard that might need to change is the very first part because I think no matter what the sign needs to move down to the mm -hmm. scene. 
I think you had that it is approved as, as shown. Or then I'll say as is, but with. But with, yes, exactly. And I think then it sounds okay. right to me. Yeah. So. Was that idea in there? No. Oh, thank you. Um, the board further, um, further the board. I, I think you can even put it at the that. beginning that says that the board recommends uh, both LED and to consider LED and awnings. Mm -hmm. And then say that, and then you can put that right before it says that you Move get to, to approve with the recommendation yeah. that the. Um, Thank you. I know we're making this tough on your family. On Amy. <laughs> Not me. Oh, yeah, on Amy, exactly. Yeah. LED fixtures be considered. Move to approve with the recommendation that light LED fixtures be considered and as it and approved as is. No, no. Start. Uh, uh, as well as awnings. You have to say yeah. provided that. You have to start with move to approve it's Signage as proposed, except drop down to the. But where do we put in LED recommendations? Well, I think, same with I, I would think that I, I, I think Andy's on the right track. Why don't we get the, the motion to say this is what we've approved, subject to these conditions, and then we can say in the addition. board recommends that the applicant could consider as alternatives um, the uh, use of awnings, in which case the. I'm going to say the wrong thing, but the, 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 the film uh, that's on the, the window can be moved down uh, to just above where the mullions are. Correct. And all the other sort of, you know, yeah. the, that LED. Yeah. The that's right. Considered. They're all recommendations. But, yeah. but let's get the, the main point of what we want to say out there first in the motion, and then we'll do the recommendations for other consideration. Mm -hmm. So I think, Andy, why don't you sort of follow okay. up what okay. you started with, because right. I so think you're on the right track. I move to approve the application of Stewart Medical Group um, with the change in the location of the sign to drop to the first uh, uh, scene. scene above the window. Period. Why don't I? I know exactly what you want to do. Okay, okay. Why don't I ask to do it? Because there's no room left to write. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I rewrite the whole thing, which no, I, I could do, say, but I don't know if it's going to work. Once you say that, then I say the board also recommends the following, has the following recommendation LED lights. Um, this is the time of time now. So basically, if you want oh, is it, is it um, yeah, the yeah, optional yeah. stuff yeah. to be grouped. Yeah, Just recommendations yeah. Yeah. at the end. Yeah. Right. And the requirements are that the sign okay. move down. Both, right, both sides, right? Yeah, yeah. that the signs be moved down. That the number is moved. That the number is moved to the left corner. And that the, that the, the time of the, the time. Uh, so, so the, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but the yeah. only optional thing is the LED and that you consider awnings. Yes. Correct? Okay. So that. And but but the other part of the awnings is awnings, and then the signs can get moved down to the, the window sign. Mm -hmm. The, the screen window sign. signs. The screen. But right. otherwise, if there's no awnings, they can't get moved down. It wouldn't look right anyway. No, no, but we wouldn't want them that big. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's much simpler than wording it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, but we can definitely. I make a motion to approve that. <laughs> second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have one question about process. Obviously, there's a letter that that's going to come from all that, um, <laughs> and that we'll need that along with the updated drawings. Once I call them tomorrow and say this is what they, you know, the board would like you to do, and I'll work out that out with them. How how long typically before that paperwork comes out? Well, you. Best bet is is have that conversation mm -hmm. and then check in with Carol okay. to see whether because in the end it's going to be her call okay. to do go with something different sure. than what was actually approved. Okay. 
Um, right, and the um, inspection services will receive your sign permit application, and they'll want to see exactly what was approved. Sure. Um, Specifically, so we include a copy of that decision yeah. letter. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a chicken or the egg thing because mm -hmm. because we've we've allowed for. Um, the director to have mm -hmm. some authority here. Okay. We need to understand what the final decision sure. is going to be, sure. and then she can write up the uh, special permit okay. in the appropriate way. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can, if it's helpful to you in communicating with Stuart, I can mm -hmm. email you a summary of what was approved. I have pretty good notes. Okay. And I have a very good sense um, visually because I know what they're going to say. Well, show me what it looks like. <laughs> so we're going to have to do it either way in order to price it correctly and, and all that. So I'll take a crack at mine, you take a crack at yours, and then we'll, we'll just get together. Okay. Um, you'll Whatever they decide, mm -hmm. you'll want to take that presentation with you, of course, to, right. to me mm -hmm. to approve, and then that approved version will go to the Right. Sounds good. Who seconded, please? I did. Yes. Christine. Okay. It's great that you're moving in there, that they're moving in there. Yeah. It's, a, it's important to us because of that whole project, which was spent, we spent a lot of time on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it has a lot of components when you think about the whole thing. Right. You've got the medical office building mm -hmm. to 22, and you've got all the nice free units, you've got mm -hmm. a bike path and right. and connection through. Mm -hmm. And this retail, and now our office medical office building is an important piece of this, mm -hmm. so that's why I'm anxious to see it, you know, have a little life to it. Right, mm -hmm. and thrive. And the, yeah. the practice managers here, and I deal with all the different practice managers yeah. across here, and they, they're pretty wide now, and these are great, a great bunch of people, and they really want the community to thrive, and they want to be involved. Um, so they're going to be excited that this one, as well as it did, and I totally appreciate all of your input. Great. Can I ask a question, please? Lisa, do you have any sense from Stuart whether there's any particular use that you think they would enjoy seeing in the small kiosk building just outside your... I looked at that, I was like, what is it? <laughs> and, and they couldn't answer me at the time. Um, so I can I can ask them. Like I so said, the, the ladies over there are wonderful. And when I asked the question, I think they told me they weren't sure what it was going to be. I wasn't sure if it was going to be some kind of a coffee house or like a little fun community mm. item. I don't mean to imply that this board has any sure. control over um, the, a tenant there, mm -hmm. but if there was a use that you thought would be especially um, appreciated mm -hmm. or patronized, sure. we could con convey that sure. to the property manager mm -hmm. who's right. to lease it up. Okay. Well, I think generally when I work with them, they love to see community involvement. And they, whatever draws people. So that just helps for their awareness. You know, it sounds silly to say coffee shop, but it, that's where people want to walk over there and enjoy that. It's beautiful. Well, the bike has the views too. The bike Absolutely. Ice Absolutely. cream would be great. I yeah. think the Something developer... Like, and they would love that. I think the developer envisioned <laughs> that some type of a um, uh, concession stand, yeah. some type of a, like you said, hot dog, ice cream, coffee, right. something that would help people gather mm -hmm. and use the public space that would animate right. the public space. So. It is a neat, neat, neat space, and I think, like I said, they're very community driven, um, and I'm sure the employees would frequent as well if it was sure. something mm -hmm. like that. Or so. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and important. their visitors. More importantly, I think, I think your office is about a half mile from where the other is. Is that oh, the right. old tennis club, or are you ready? Right in Brockton? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're on the corner of West Chestnut and... Oh, ah, you're on that side. Yeah. So I was on right the corner the of West Chestnut and Mastery. Oh, funny. Yeah. yeah. So. All right, thank you folks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we finished the We've exhausted agenda. the agenda. We've exhausted the agenda. So uh, I'm going to motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.